Good morning. Where does one start with the building of a business process? This is a question I get all of the time. Where do I start? Where do I start? What should I do? How should I set up my LLC? And you know, there's one thing that's very interesting about this question. It's missing some of the most important parts. The question shouldn't be, where should I start? The question should be, who can I serve? Where can I start is very selfish, it's very self-centered, and it's all about me, me, me. But when you start to think about who can I serve, who can I build a business for, who can I help out, who can I make their lives better, then it's a totally different question and it answers itself. I'm doing a recent series for truckers and I'm saying, hey, this is for truckers. If you don't drive a truck, uh, this pretty much may not apply to you, right? I'm getting less views, but I see that the trucking community is not being served very well here on YouTube. Uh, there are some truckers who are in the business who are giving out amazing, good information, but I don't see that business letter business level that CEO type content and that's where I'm coming in and to contribute to the community but that's who can I serve that's what's like well let's do this for truckers and when you say who can I serve your content changes your advertising changes your presentation changes who how you dress so many things change when you go who can I serve who can I help out so next time you ask a question of where should I start my question to well my response to you is who are you serving because who are you serving where are you serving them and how you're serving them will dictate your legal structure will dictate your marketing will dictate your sales process but when you're just like hey where do I start here's Batman I'm gonna sell Batman. Yes, I'm going to sell Batman, right? Who am I going to sell Batman to? Who's going to buy Batman? Oh, I don't know. I just went on Amazon.com, saw some products with a high sales rank, and I'm going to get that product. This is the absolute recipe for failure. This is where you're going to run off the road because you're allowing someone else to do your work for you. All right, Batman, you can go over there. We're not selling you. We're keeping you. But this is one of the things I see all over the Internet. This selfishness, this whole me, me, me that clouds your objectivity. It messes up your money because if you have a shirt that says, I'm CEO, but you don't know who your audience is, you don't know who you're serving, you don't know who you're helping out, you're really just fooling yourself. I am so glad this recession is here. As this recession rolls through the economy, the pretenders, the people who think that they're better than they are, are going to be slayed. What's it? They still use that term, slay. They're going to be slayed. They're going to be roll. They're going to be fresh. They're going to be grass in the sun, and the economy is going to be a lawnmower because, essentially, if you only have one or two marketing skill sets that are platform based and you don't know how to create a campaign from scratch you don't know how to set up a phone call uh, you don't know how to set up an appointment you don't know how to do a presentation you don't know how to do so many of the old school business tactics that just are not going to change well my friend you about to be exposed and I am looking forward to it. I've been telling you guys, recession's coming. I started like last year, December, I think 17th. So we're almost a year away and I was like, hey, a recession's coming. The recession's coming. I created a playlist. I, I did all this other stuff. And many people, I posted an article on my Facebook page that how employees don't even give two weeks notice anymore. They just walk off the job. And when they're called by the employer, they don't answer. And there were people that were trying to defend this irresponsible behavior. Well, you know, the companies ain't loyal. Why should we be loyal? I'm going to tell you. 
when you make a habit to be a yard bird, when you make a habit to be uh, have no character, when you make it a habit to subscribe to your lowest common denominator, it is going to mess you up for the jobs that you do want to have. Because this is the thing. It's like these silly chicks, like, I'm busy, I'm busy, but when I find the right person, I'll make time. No, you will not. You must create the space before the opportunity. So if you're acting like a yard bird, if you're just, hey, I'm walking off jobs and not telling anybody, my friend, that's going to catch up with you. It's going to catch up with you in your personal relationships. It's going to catch up with you in your business relationships. It's going to catch up with you. And just to hear people defending this because these employees ain't loyal. I mean, these employers ain't loyal. I'm like, wow. In my video the other night when I was talking about for the truckers to take the garbage routes because you'll learn stuff. Nobody really wants to compete. No, they don't. Competing is getting in the mud. I'll tell you something that I used to do before I leave. Early in my storage auction career, I had to buy garbage units because I didn't know how it worked. Uh, they were blowing me out the water. They were bidding stuff up. But I bought those garbage units and often I struck gold. Literally, I remember buying this unit at public storage on Northside Drive. The place had caught on fire and there was this one unit and you could smell all the smoky charcoal, all the stuff burn up and I bid on it. I get it for five bucks. I probably cut it for nothing if I had been thinking. I went through that, threw it away, uh, threw this away. This was burnt. This was had infestation of smoke. Uh, threw 90% of that unit away. When I got toward the end, I found this little bag. And this little bag was kind of heavy. And in this bag were gold chains, gold rings, earrings. That little bag that filled up the palm of my hand got me 4800 bucks in scrap gold value. I got $4,800 because I bought the garbage unit. Now, there was a lot of garbage units I bought that were strictly garbage, threw them away, but they were cheap. So proportionally, I won about 70% of the time. So I had a 25% loss rate. But what I'm telling you is, is when you do the hard thing, when you compete, because buying those garbage units gave me the money to compete with the big boys where I could start going toe to toe to toe with them on bidding to the point a white racist said, hey, if you don't bid against me, I won't bid against you. He didn't do that because he wanted to. He did that because I had economic power and I could cost him money. See, my friends, that is real power. Not none of this, we need the band to get it, blah, blah. No, you need to tear a hole up in them with some money. Money's the only thing that matters. Once again, I put up a video. You know, money does buy happiness. Believe that. So, doing the hard things you become stronger, you become a better competitor, you become so powerful. But a lot of people are lazy. And when I say lazy, I'm talking about intellectually lazy, physically lazy, and financially lazy. More on that in another video. But I'm doing something new. I have an assistant. Yes, I do. And her email is below. So if you've got any questions or stuff, Go ahead and email her. We're still training her, so she may not get back to you like right away. But we're going to put together a system in the intake process. And I got some juicy stuff for you guys because we're going to do 10 days of Christmas. Because today is the 14th, and you know, so we're going to start tomorrow. And I'm going to be making deals and offers, and I'm going to wear the Santa hat and all that. So if you got a question about anything, you can go below and i might put a number she's not going to call you back i've instructed her not to call you back but to answer your query via text so this will because see when people call they tend to get a little long with it but when they got to type it out it become very concise it's very interesting so with that i'll see you good people later